Okay, so the setup positions you have fundamentally are pretty solid. Club face is square. Both hands are working together well as a unit. Ball is in the middle of your stance. Alignment of your feet, hips, and shoulders is pretty much complementary to where the club head is positioned. A couple little things. I wanted you to, if anything, lean the shaft a little ahead of the golf ball with the irons, especially to help you compress the ball. Your hands tend to be behind the club head. As I said, for a driver, that's not bad because you're trying to hit the ball in the upswing anyways, but not for a 7 iron or something lofted like that. That's one thing. The other thing is maybe just trying to be a little more in the balls of your feet athletically. You tend to get a little flat, right? So I've, been over. I've always been guilty of leaning over and having trouble straightening my back. Yeah, the key almost is uh, once you set the club shaft down first, you know, on the ground and establish your grip, then tilt from the hips forward first, establishing that nice tall, proud spine angle. Follow that with a little knee break so you're athletically on the balls of your feet for balance. And that's, that goes for all clubs, basically, right? So let's watch the swing as it goes away from the ball. You can see the club's going back. Pretty good takeaway path so far. Halfway back, you're maintaining your body angles. Then your arms rise up your body. But see how the legs spread apart? Yep. Your knees spread apart because when your weight's on your heels, right, you got to do that to stay on your feet, right? If you would just turn the top half of your body, you'd fall over. And obviously, you're not going to do that. So to keep your lower body tighter, as you can see with me to the right, the balance at address will enable you to do that and support it, right? So now, the recovery is on your part is to bring the arms down, reflex the right knee, clear the left hip, extend the arms on through, square it on up and turn. And you, you did that most of the shots, but difficult to be repeatable on that with all those moving parts. So your backswing will probably feel a little more compact in future because you're not having to have as much movement to get the club back and through. Right? Yeah, I like